ask yourself this question. In this zany era of global catastrophes, social upheavals, cringeworthy movie sequels, what is the one thing we can all agree would make everybody happy? That's right, free money. In today's episode of Inking Grow Rich, we're going to take a look at a job I drew last year for the Discover Call, a company we're promising you all the free money your greedy little heart can handle. In addition to my normal routine, I'm also going to be talking briefly about the benefits of occasionally using 3D software to help you get things done a bit faster. Sound good? Let's get started. Alright folks, the name of today's game is Money Train. In this first of two spots, a woman walks into a subway car and money just starts showering down on her because Discover has decided to match your cash back. The spot ends with her passing several other people, all of whom have cash showering down on them. What a wonderful time to be alive. So here you will see the location photos, the script, and the treatment. And that's just about all I was given before the start of this job, so let's jump in. The opening shot is going to be a relatively wide frontal shot of a subway platform during rush hour. Kind of like what you see here in this photo, except that the director wanted the camera to be about 10 feet higher and with a crowd of commuters funneling into the station. In order to achieve that, I'm going to first trace the facade, meaning the front face of the subway platform. Then I'm going to use this nifty little perspective tool, which is one of the things that makes using Corel Painter such a joy. And I'm simply going to raise the vanishing point up until the perspective lines feel about right. While I'm tracing this facade, there are two things I wanted to mention. First, beginning with this episode, I've decided to start chopping these tutorials up into two or even three parts. But Vinny, you ask, you got a good thing going here. Why start messing with the formula? Did you learn nothing from Coca-Cola's new Coke fiasco? Well, funny you should ask. You see, all of my previous videos clocked in somewhere around 30 minutes or so. But according to my YouTube analytics, the average viewing time is only three minutes. What is wrong? you people this was a bit of an eye-opener for me this means one of two things either people simply don't find my tutorials worth their time which is entirely possible or viewers today just have a smaller attention span just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber my ego wants the latter to be true so I choose to believe that people come to YouTube for bite-sized little snacks rather than three course meals I'm hoping that carving these up into smaller morsels might make them all a bit more palatable the second thing I wanted to mention is that beginning with this episode, I am making a concentrated effort to speak slower and with more clarity. One consistent criticism that I receive is that people are finding me hard to understand. Here at Ink and Grow Rich, we aim to please. So by adjusting my speaking and lowering the volume of the background music, I'm hoping to remedy that situation. I hope I don't sound weird because it absolutely feels weird. All right, so now I'm going to populate this scene with a crowd of commuters going into the tunnel on the right side and coming out of the tunnel on the left side. As you can see here, I've dropped my location photo down underneath my current frame just so that I can reference it while drawing in the proper perspective. It's helpful to know where all the architectural details like windows and doors are. On the right side of frame, I'm using my custom foliage nozzle to quickly paint in some trees. Then I'm going to grab my chisel marker to paint in the shadows and give the illusion of volume. And finally, I'm going to add these two arrows in the upper corners just to indicate that the camera is craning down and in. Shot number two, this is a super low angle of legs and feet funneling into the tunnel. Now I know that I already have some low angle leg shots in my stock folder, so for now I'm just going to very loosely sketch these in and we'll come back to that frame in a second. Shot number three is going to be this exact location photo and shot four will be this exact location photo. Now, this is the pivotal moment in the story when all of the money will begin to rain down on our hero woman. So we're just gonna very loosely sketch her into frame as well as all of the background commuters. And at the top of the frame here, we'll indicate that the money is slowly beginning to drift down into the shot. Okay, so now we've got our first four shots laid out, which will take us from an exterior of the train station right up to the moment where the money begins to shower down. Dropping back to frame two for a moment, I mentioned earlier that I already have some illustrations saved in my stock folder labeled close up legs and feet. This is a fairly common shot which pops up now and again in various commercials, so these drawings were worth archiving. I'm simply gonna copy the shots that I like, 
paste them into frame, clean them up a bit, and then add some additional legs as I go along. Let's select my initial sketch and erase that, clean things up a bit. Then we can draw the pavement in down here to give them something to walk on. All right, going back to frame three, I'm now going to trace the subway platform that appears in this location photo. Now, this photo doesn't tell the whole story. What's going to happen in this shot is that our hero woman is walking towards the camera from the deep background. And once she gets to the foreground, she'll turn camera left and enter the subway car. So let me select that train, scale it way up into the foreground, and then I'm going to draw an open door here on the left. Okay, now I'm going to add the hero woman to the frame. To save time, I'm going to open a stock file I put together on women walking, select one, and drop her into frame. In the same frame, I'm going to draw the foreground woman, so she's moving from position A to position B. For position B, I'm going to roughly sketch her in first, and then I'll go find some reference that I like. I just want to figure out where her, I just want to figure out what her basic blocking is first. Going back to position A, I need to first erase all of the stuff that's going on behind her, strengthen the line up a bit, and then ultimately give her a handbag. So let's erase her right arm and then draw it back in but clutching the strap of her handbag. For the woman in the B position, I'm again going to choose someone from my reference file, copy and paste her in the frame, and then, you guessed it, trace right over it. Finally, I'll use my chisel marker to strengthen her contour line so she pops off the background a bit. For the fourth frame, I went online and found a few photos of women that I like. I like the hair and jaw line in this first photo, so I'll draw that in. And I like the subtle expression of the second woman, so that's the face I'll draw. With this hero woman done, I will now draw up the background along with all the additional commuters. Okay, and that'll take us to the end of page one. Somehow this video still clocked in it, a whopping 11 minutes. But hey, I guess it's an improvement. You gotta save for small victories, kids. We'll pick this up where we left off in part two of the Money Train. And as always, if you found this video insightful or entertaining, I'd like to see more of them in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Until next time, this is Vinny Delay with Inking Grow Rich.